Honestly, it's just been the, um, the opportunity to network um, with just such smart and passionate and dedicated researchers and funders um, who um, really fe feels like people check their egos at the door um, and came in are really rolling up their sleeves and, and really looking at ways to collaborate and work together. This is a really complex field of science, um, but it's also a complex um, for socially as well. Uh, and so people get that and are really working together. <laughs> I think it was really helpful just to vent. So many of us have been working so long and with so little support, but then to really have the IDEO collaborations on moving things forward and putting things in a graphic sense. Um, it's time to get focused. And I think we need some serious funding and also some serious coordination in terms of help with the last stages to get things to market. We have a lot of wonderful ideas, a lot of wonderful early research, but we need to get that last leap. And that last leap can cost 30 to $50 million for a product. So I'm not saying we need to raise 30 to $50 million right now, but we need someone in place to help us all figure out how to do that. Personally, it's been a bit of a dream of mine to come to IDEO. Um, when you're a design student, you learn about their processes. And for the last four and a half years, I've been working on male contraceptives. I'm part of a Bill and Melinda Gates funded team that's developing the next generation condom. So we've been using, I guess, IDEO's design thinking and user-centered design process um, to drive that innovation forward. It's been working fantastically. So one of the things that I'm hoping to achieve personally out of this is to create some really good links with some of the other delegates here um, and to, I guess, use the skills of IDEO to apply to what we're doing and basically make it a lot better. Um, and the MCI has facilitated that in the most incredible way. So thinking about the broader sector, one of the things that I think is going to come out of this is that people are going to become a lot more open or hopefully people become a whole lot more open about their work they're doing. Um, a lot of work is done in labs and almost in very closed teams and I think through collaboration both with uh, people in their own facilities but also around the world we can really advance science and design to create a better solution for people that actually need it. I would say, again, I would say the biggest thing is, is the, seeing the people and meeting them and having these conversations with them and knowing that down the line, after I move forward from the basic research, I know who to contact. Um, I think the brainstorming that we're doing here is amazing. It's something that I've never done before. Um, it's, I think it's really kind of opens up my mind about how it maybe should be done. Just putting all your ideas out there, it looks amazing, yeah. I think that uh, the mutual brainstorming of having everybody in a room uh, communicating at the same time is really productive. So uh, I think it's far better than, for example, sending out surveys for people to fill out and send back in. I think it's the interactions between people that uh, really make this kind of meeting um, helpful and informative. Um, with respect to the different exercises that we did, I'm not sure that any of them necessarily stand out uh, as better than the others, but uh, I thought it was a good way to sort of step through and prioritize kind of where the people in the room at least thought that um, most of the attention should be placed. And 
what might be the priorities for MCI to think about. So the general process I thought was very good. The individual steps to get there, um, I thought they were effective. I actually just want to make connections with people that can facilitate my work. And so we've seen in past events, like uh, we went to a contraceptive ideation workshop in Kenya. It was the same thing. We made connections with people that facilitated our work. Um, and that's what I want out of this. Um, for the sector, I think it's really important to drive innovation. So it doesn't matter which one of us succeed, we're going to succeed together, but it means it'll create a feedback loop into the sector, which will keep driving innovation. And you want to see that which drives the real change and the real product that eventually makes the, the biggest change. Well, basically, I think that I'm learning how to think in a different way and how to approach uh, uh, problems and find solutions in a completely different way that I'm used to. Um, as I said, I am a basic researcher, a chemist. I have a very scientific way of thinking and my rational is, is completely different from the one I'm seeing here. And the dynamics of this uh, workshop and, and how uh, um, you are making us to work and to think and, and, and to uh, approach uh, the different situation is so different that I'm learning a lot and I am really uh, anxious to see how it uh, develops uh, in, in the uh, coming days. But uh, I'm, I'm curious and, and I'm supportive of this kind of activities, really. I think it's something different. I want to go back to my lab to tell them and to share with them and with, also with the people I know uh, about all this new process for me because uh, it might be an, a, a, an advantage for um, everybody. It, it, it is not related to science, it's related to how to face any problem anywhere, anybody. <laughs> so um, I, I'm really happy about this experience, uh, whatever the result is. Uh, I think, uh, I hope that we have a good result, of course, but I'm happy just because of the process. <laughs>